We probably need some kebab. We need to go down into the the dungeon again here, I think. Oh, we probably probably should go see the blacksmith as well. Do we have anything else that needs to go into the into town? We can make incense. I don't know how to make the incense though. Do we have the stuff to make the incense? The pronoun extension is heckin' amazing. I agree. I agree. That's one of the reasons that I use it. Um, and so having the extension on your browser allows you to see existing pronouns. But the cool thing is that you can set up your pronouns even if you don't use the extension. So as long as you have gone into the website, signed in with Twitch, and set your pronouns, they will display next to your name. It's great. I recommend. How? All right. I'm supposed to be able to make incense. At a church workbench. I am at the church church workbench. There it is. Oh, I need freshener. I need an alchemy workbench. Okay. Sure. Which means I need conical flasks and advanced conical flasks. Okay. Lunch time! What do we got for lunch today? What do we got? I want to know. What do we got? Do, 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 do. Nice. I'm gonna leave these flitch and stuff down here. I am obtaining my calories in the form of alcohols because I feel like it's that brand of for a day off. Okay, but like, please also consume something else. If you thought I was going to let you get away with that, zombie, you got another thing coming. You know me better than that. If you that. pay me, I can turn your village well for you. I can do village well, so thank you. The panic. Tipsy Tiger, for anybody who is new or just passing through, village well is an all redeem. The panic you, in my heart. Yes, you need some water. Oh, goodness. I'm glad you enjoy Yes, also water, but that doesn't give you calories. So maybe also a snack of some kind. Maybe. Potentially. Uh, what else can I sell here? That's my next question. I could probably sell some, uh, some stone, right? According to Hordrick, onion rings go well with beer. I believe this. I believe this. That is a common bar food here in the United States, so I 100% believe this. Even though I'm wearing my headset, I think my dog heard you. She's giving me hardcore puppy guilt trip eyes. Excellent. Glad to know I have support. Hysterical. Um, ooh, I just built up my, uh, my blue a little bit here as well. That's useful. Do 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 
If you take, uh, I'm just ready for junk food. Same. Same. If you take a bronze onion to the inn, he will tell you this and give you some recipes. Oh, good. Yeah, we haven't really done much with, uh, Hordrick. I don't think I have any. Yeah, I have silver onions. Fine, Gridola it is, because it's what I have, and I won't ha make a mess at my desk. Very well. I'm proud of you. Good job. Um, what can we, what can we make and then sell at the, the place? I do need some fresh fish nuggets. Um, can we take baked fish to the inn? Will he take baked fish if we take it to him? goodness. Hilarious. Not that kind of stream, zombie muffin. <laughs> Although, one of my favorite TikToks recently, and I've done this twice now, um, was commenting on the fact that I used to work at Renaissance Fair and people will come in here and try to say things because I look vaguely female and uh, it cracks me up because I'm like I look you want to try and drop some uh, some pickup lines in chat you got a long way to go because I used to work with professionals vaguely female is my new band name one of my favorite TikToks is, um, or one of my favorite TikTok audios is the, uh, I'm like what you get when you order girl from Wish. I was like, mm, if that isn't a mood, <laughs> I may appear female. You are mistaken. <laughs> it was a good time though. All right, uh, what else can I make here? I feel like you just giggle and say apple, because that's what I think of when I think of churning it fair. Yes, yes, that was a good joke. That's a good joke, and it still makes me happy. I still have that pewter pin around somewhere. That's one of the things that I would love to get up in, uh, in the background here again, is my pin collection from Ren Fair, because it's just a good time. Lots of good references there. He won't take the lasagna. Why doesn't he take the lasagna? That's rude. He will take the bread, though, so that's handy. What else can I sell him? I can probably sell him some firewood, huh? How do I make this baked salmon? Yeah, take the lasagna, honestly. Honestly. Toasts with onions. How do I how do I do How do I make toasts with onions? Are you churning adventures? Maybe. You should make a road trip out this way this summer. We can do fair and take you to some cool adventure things. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. That would be so amazing. Ugh. Sadly, I can't travel anytime soon, but I yearn to. Also doesn't take the baked mushrooms. Or the fish. Whatever. Take toast, put it on an onion. I'm guessing that the... I'm guessing that this is something like... No, it's just ring of onion here. What? Okay. Sure. Compass, hello! I'm just trying to chill and relax today. Feel a little bad for backseats. Eh! Eh! 
We're doing okay. We're hanging in there. I need... We should actually... We should actually probably harvest some firewood. That would be helpful. Um, the gardener or the, the, the greengrocer is not going to be around this time of day. So let's go over here. We're going to do some firewood. Nope, it's not here. I have to chop the firewood. Uh, what is the food that gives me the, the chop benefit? Is that the lasagna? It gives me the axe benefit. Coming up on the last month of class, four weeks left. Congratulations, Magic Sheep. That's amazing. You, sir, are awesome. Did you know? Did you know that you are awesome? Because you're awesome. Yes, it is. Excellent. So let's actually grab this stack of lasagna here. We're going to eat that in a minute. Uh, I'm going to drop these carrots over here so that we can get some new income from the donkey. Also, the most work is in the, the last month, but excited to get this shit done. Yes! Yes! I'm so excited for you, Magic Sheep. Legit. This is super awesome. You are doing amazing stuff out there. Working hard at the job. Working hard at the school. Hanging out with us all the time. You're amazing. Maybe I can buy a violin and ignore Ranger and Riku with the new hyperfixation. Um, I have a suggestion for you for a hyperfixation if you are looking for one. <laughs> Just, uh, just a thought. Just a... Nothing big. Just a... Just a thought. Trying to prevent World War III on a daily basis? It's true. This is also true. Yes. Among a few other things, Magic Sheem. Yes. It is that one. Oh, goodness. I also need to sit down and do some significant work on the the Discord community as well. Speaking of Discord, this week, this week we have some first community streams from some of our lovely villagers in the community. Both Tipsy Tiger and Androgynous Nerd Boy are going to be streaming to the Discord community on Wednesday and Thursday, respectively. We're gonna try it out, see how it goes. Should be a good time. I am excited. And this is an open invitation for all of you lovely folks out there who are interested in maybe trying your hand at hosting games on the Discord, maybe trying something new doing some setups like if you stream on twitch and you're like i don't know if i want to do this thing with my twitch channel that is a great thing to do on the discord so if you want to try out some new stuff if you don't want to stream on twitch but you would love to be able to do a little bit of the streaming stuff that we do here on twitch that is also an option available to you to just hang out on the discord so i returned with ice cream what kind of ice cream did you get I want to know, Blue Kate. I want to know. Such a nice incentive. I don't know if it's an incentive, but... Can you feel it? Yes. Also, I need to remember to put up the... the moderator free stream channel so that that's available because I want that to be out there soon as well sadly we're out of ice cream and I wanted to get a knockoff version of some mini magnums ooh fancy what is your magic idea uh it's it's 
other stuff to do with uh, with the community and stuff like that. So similar but different. But yes, also the video game because I would love to talk to you about the video game. Do the I didn't need that entire stack. Good grief. Thank you, Brain, for that helpful thing. But yeah, like, if there is ever stuff that you are interested in uh, potentially doing, Magic Sheep, or if you would like ideas to hyperfixate on, I have tons of things that we could chat about and <laughs> we could do stuff with. All right, I think I need some polishing paste so that I can stack polished rock production. I think that'll be helpful. I also need to figure out how to make the, the zombie fluids. I also wish that I could just drop stuff. We have not gone to get the cauldron yet. Um, I'm also wondering if there is a way that we can learn to make the cauldron. Have a good lurk! Good luck at work, nerd boy. Good luck! I have made so much firewood. So many. So many firewood. Look at this. Look at this stack of firewood. Do I have burgers upstairs here? I do. Excellent. I have ideas. I get stumped with MSV. I thought about a game where the intro scene is a character in a hot tub and they talk about the end of days and the game follows this character and how it had an indirect hand in the destruction of the world but at the end you realize he was an AR the whole time and uh, stumbled upon a device and experienced this whole other life through it. He was already living in a post-apocalyptic world. Ooh. Ooh. There's lots of potential there. Purple Kara! Thank you very much for the rainbow. I appreciate it. Do do. That is kind of fun though. I enjoy that. Whistles innocently. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Does anybody know? I picked up the burger and then I didn't use it. Dang it. Does anybody know how I am... Oh wait, we don't have an alchemy table yet. That's why. That was my thought on the train. That was my thought train on the plane to New York. It lives... Leaves room for games to explore the lore, thinking of Horizon Bow-style combat, but with guns. Hmm. Hmm. I still have not played Horizon Zero Dawn, so I don't have a great concept of the, the combat system in Horizon Zero Dawn, but I like the concept overall. Could be fun. Had to visit the banker for coinage. Now to quest for food. Excellent. Excellent. We love to see it. But I love this idea. I love this idea. Okay. So. We gotta go talk to the blacksmith. We gotta go talk to the blacksmith. I also want to go through the dungeon a little bit today.
But I, in order to go through the dungeon, we need to do fish. So I'm going to pick up the stuff we need for fish. I don't remember what fillets I need for fish. But we need onions and mushrooms. I didn't leave the other stuff in the basement. Magic Sheep, I am here to hash out some thoughts on a game if you really want to. Because I like this idea a lot. 100% want a gay character, and I want the ending scene to have the main character's partner say something like, It's time to face reality. Your reality. And at the end, the partner is actually the guy's uh, device's partner, and he takes it off, and he's in a dilapidated house in a tub half-broken. Oh, jeez. It's so, so sad. What a, what an experience. Feels weird to jump into F Horizon Forbidden West without Zero Dawn. Very much expects you to have played the first game, uh, but with no gameplay consequences. Interesting. I have not played either of those games. Um, I don't know that Zero Dawn was on my wish list or not. They both look amazing, though. I would love to give it a try. Okay, we need we need quality fish fillets or blue fish fillets. We can do both. I have more quality fish fillets. And then I can also make baked apples and Nice. Okay. Just ready to try my hand at Boyfriend Dungeon? Yes! Yes! That's what you're streaming on Wednesday, right? You're gonna be doing Boyfriend Dungeon on Wednesday? Yes! I'm so excited. It's gonna be so much fun. At the start of the game, well, we did play, we did play a little bit of Boyfriend Dungeon here on stream as well. So we've seen a little bit of it here on stream. Oh no, burial certificate. I need that. Alright, I don't need the white fish right now. We can put that down. We can put down the blue fish. Is there anything else that I can make right now? And we have a corp. I've got so much going on now. So much happening all at once. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't really want to do sauerkraut right now because it's going to use up my carrots and I need those. Fish soup also uses up my carrots. The warning they give you at the start of the game, yeah. It's, it, honestly that's a, that's a solid, solid choice that they gave us. It made me really happy that they included that. Um... So it was, it was really good. It is an amazing game, though. I, I 100% agree. It was a lot of fun. Need to reorganize. I'm nearing 30 and my waist is not a twig snatched waist anymore. Like, these pants fit my booty wonderfully, but my waist is in a fucking corset and it's uncomfy. I mean, we, we could get you in a corset. I'm here for it. But also, I understand what you mean. I am needing to put a little more attention on my my own health as well, so I certainly understand. Do, do. I have 
have so many things that I need to be able to do other stuff with. That one man corset shop does look dope. Yes! Oh my gosh, their stuff looks so amazing. But there's actually a number of corseteers who make masculine corsets. Um, it is not just the one guy. But uh, their merchandising is, is astounding. But yeah, it's not just the one company. There's lots of... Lots of people who make corsets out there in the world. But yeah, their their merchandising is fantastic. They do great stuff. I just know of one I thought about it. Uh, I need to go back below 185. Yeah, I know you have that uh, particular goal that you like to keep track of. Goal is to get professionally fitted for a corset someday? Tipsy Tiger, that would be so awesome. After school, I'm gonna start gymming more often, just too much at once, yeah. Yeah, I wondered what was gonna, what was gonna be the tipping point, what the, the one thing that you couldn't do anymore was gonna be. Because you keep a ridiculous schedule. You are so busy all the time. I don't know how you do it, but it's pretty amazing. I need to get some sleep, but we gotta put this stuff down. Wanna get back into fitness and dance? Yes. The one thing I let go of was the gym, yeah. I need to... maybe we... one of the things that I wanted to do with the Training Grounds channel um, in the Discord was that I wanted to... Um, do the thing with the stuff. I wanted to have it be a place that was encouraging to people for their goals. One of those goals for me was to get in good physical shape and uh, continue on my progress back to getting to the gym and uh, getting back into shape that way. And so I am wanting to get back to that because I miss it. I miss being in the gym. We can set up a gym motivation channel. Yes. Honestly, that's what the Training Grounds channel is for, among other things. Like, it's not exclusive to being in the gym, but it is intended to also include gym encouragement um, in that way. Um, let's do... Let's do faith for this one. I sleep six to eight hours a day. I love sleep, but in my time awake, I run fast. This is true. Yes, this is very true. Magic Sheep keeps very, very busy, very motivated, an inspiration to me. I would love to be as motivated and focused as Magic Sheep can be. I beat Forbidden West before New York City. Yeah. Also, the way that you'd like devour video games is fascinating to me. It is not how I go through stuff. And that's why people are like, oh my gosh, you should play this game. You should play this game. And I'm like, great. When? Because <laughs> I have so many things that I try to do so that I can do all of the things. I just enjoy self harp. No! That's not, not good. Unacceptable, sir. You you like to be motivated and push yourself. Like, I get that. And in many ways, that is admirable, but you have to do it in a healthy way, right? And so I think that along with being very motivated and very interested in doing lots of different stuff... You also have the a, a pretty well-developed ability to know when something is too much for you. I also have no friends. That's not true! You have a whole community here that appreciates you. 
You have friends, sir. Don't give me that. <laughs>